Welcome back to our series on statistical functions. Now today we want to take a look at dispersion. Now what do we mean by that? Well, in past videos we looked at the average, right? We looked at measures such as mean, mode, and median. Well today we want to take a look at the dispersion within a sample data. In other words, how do the observations vary from the mean? So if the observations vary by a larger amount, we should assume a greater variance. So let's put that term down here. Now, we can think of variance in two ways. We can think of it as the variance of a population and the variance of a sample. Now, what do we mean by that? Now, population, just as the word implies, means an entire collection or entire group, and a sample is simply a subset within the population. Now sometimes it's very difficult to calculate or to even gather the data for an entire population. And sometimes what we are only limited to is a sample within the population. The great thing about this Google spreadsheet is that there are functions for both. So if you do happen to have the entire population, we can use a particular function, which is VARP. And if we don't, and we simply have a sample, you can use the function VAR. Now, you've seen this data set before. We have the top 100 grossing movies in 2012. And what we want to do is calculate what the variance is in terms of the number of theaters that the movies were shown. Now, if we make the assumption, which is incorrect by the way, but if we make the assumption that this list of 100 movies represents the entire universe of movies that are out there, and we want to calculate the variance of the number of theaters shown, then we would use the function VARP and capture the range, which yields a number of 460,000. Now, assuming correctly now that this list represents a sample of the number of movies out there, then we would use the function VAR, capture the proper range, and this would yield a number that is similar to the population variance, but not exactly the same. Now, another term you may have heard before, and it's actually quite commonly common, is the standard deviation. Now the standard deviation, again, you could look at it from uh, assuming that you use a population data set and also assuming that you have a subset or a sample. And the great thing, as you can guess, is that there are functions for both, which for the population standard deviation would be STDEVP. Again, capture the proper range. And STDEV. Now, mathematically, the standard deviation is simply the square root of the variance. So if you have the variance already calculated, we can confirm that the standard deviation is calculated correctly by taking the square root of the population variance, which should result in the population standard deviation. Let's take a look here. Enter 679, 679. Great, so as a summary, let's take a look. Here are the function names for different types of measures of dispersion measured across a population or a sample. Thanks so much for listening today. Check us out at www.spreadsheetsolving.com.